Hello, everybody. My name is Heba Morsi. I am a Pumas intern, and I got to work in the Krogan lab this summer working on identifying KSHV protein-protein interactions related to latency. So to begin, what is KSHV? KSHV, or Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus, is a gamma herpes virus that causes Kaposi sarcoma, a cancer that causes tumors to develop on the skin, referred to as lesions. This is sort of like an image to give you an idea of what they look like. KSHV has a biphasic life cycle, one phase where it's actively producing the virus called lytic phase, and one where it's dormant in our cells called the latent phase. KS cancer is correlated only with the latent phase, where KSHV spends most of its time and expresses only four to five genes. In order to understand how these genes interact with the host to regulate latency and cause cancer, we focused on identifying the virus host protein-protein interactions called PPIs. I worked on two latent genes, LANA and VFLIP on the right. On the right, I'm showing interaction maps that were done by previous study that are starting networks for our study. Um, our goal is to build on these networks using a technique called cross-linking mass spectrometry, which allows us to capture transient or weak PPIs and their interaction interfaces. So first, we needed to clone LANA and VFLIP into our efficient tag for cross-linking mass spectrometry, abbreviated as HTBH tag. In order to do this, we amplified our genes through a technique called polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. And simultaneously, we linearized our backbone vector so it is ready to hold our genes of interest. Then we put it all together by Gibson assembly so we can have plasmids with our tagged proteins. Here I am showing E. coli bacteria that contain those uh, plasmids. Afterwards, our next steps are to bulk prep our plasmids and verify their sequences. At this step, we are currently verifying the sequences for LANA, and we have verified the sequences for VFLIP. So for VFLIP, we next tested expression by introducing our plasmids to human HEC293T cells by transfection. We then visualized our tagged protein by Western blot. So here is the Western blot. Here, uh, the band on the left corresponds to our positive HTBH control, and on the right corresponds to our VFLIP HTBH. And we can see that our VFLIP HTBH protein is in fact expressed in hec 293 t cells. So in the future, our goals are to optimize protocols for both HTBH tagged LANA and VFLIP in hec 293 t cells. This includes optimizing cross-linking conditions with VFLIP. I did a preliminary cross-linking as the last experiment of my internship. And you can see that we can cross-link VFLIP and it forms protein interactions, which are these higher molecular weight bands on the gel. So the last component is doing affinity purification after cross-linking to pull down on VFLIP, identify human protein-protein interactions and interaction interfaces by mass spectrometry analysis. So just some acknowledgements. Um, thank you, Nevin Krogan, for giving, opening up your lab to interns, uh, my mentors, Robin, Kelsey, and Erst. I learned so much from you guys. Thank you for your patience everyone at the Krogan Lab who contributed and helped me out, and to Puma's Emma and Suta for coordinating such an amazing program, and my professors, most and John and Alex, for all of the support, and uh, Jihad also for all of the support that you've given me.